So last week, the top pick in the NFL draft was traded. And now it appears the number two pick could be dealt as well. A Brown source telling our Adam Schefter that there are teams that are interested. And also, the Browns have been engaged in trade talks, but it remains, in words of one of their officials, uncertain where they'll ultimately trade that pick. Now, Monday morning quarterbacks, Peter King was on Mike and Mike earlier and said there's a 50% chance that they will better, trade. Better than yes, 50. Yeah. Better than 50% yeah. chance that they will trade that pick, Skip. Mm -hmm. If you were the Browns, would you trade? Let me restate my position on Robert Griffin III. As you well know, you've heard it to, to distraction on the show. Before that draft, uh, Andrew Luck versus RG3, a big RG3 fan, and I was very upset by what he went through in Washington, some of it self-inflicted. I was ecstatic that he was about to get a fresh start with a quarterback coach I believe in, and Hugh Jackson, and one who appears to believe in Robert Griffin III. So my point was that it was good news when I heard that it's very possible they are going to trade this pick. And obviously, for selfish reasons, RG3 reasons, I hope they do, because that would mean that Carson Wentz wouldn't be looking over Robert's shoulder. And that's what I feared was going to happen, because all the initial reports were that Cleveland was going to hold fast and take one of the rookie quarterbacks at number two. The bad news as of yesterday that I did not see coming was Josh McCown took the starters reps in their first little off-season workout yesterday. Josh McCown, he's still there. I didn't even know if he was in limbo or what, but he's signed through next year. He took more snaps yesterday than RG3. It, it shook me up because I thought if you're going to rebuild the confidence, rebuild all of RG3's psyche and, and get him completely indoctrinated into a new offense with a new coach, You'd want him taking the majority of the reps. Well, that indicates to me that maybe they want to move forward with Josh McCown as the starter next year, which is the bridge year. I like it that if they don't pick a quarterback, they can start to restock a pathetic defense. And I thought that would help RG3 on the other side. But on this side, I'm not sure RG3's the designated starting quarterback next year. I'm, I'm afraid that maybe they're going to bring him along slowly as just the backup quarterback to a Josh McCown who will be a one-year bridge to a rookie quarterback. And they could still take any of the rookies, obviously, in round two. I don't know who. Maybe they love Connor Cook. I have no idea. But maybe there'll be another guy that would be looking over both the shoulders of Josh McCown and Robert Griffin III. When does training camp begin? July something. End of July. What's today? Uh, April 20th. 20th. Right. April 20th. Skip, it's April. 420. Mm -hmm. It's April. Clock's it's ticking. A, it's a guy mm -hmm. in, in, in RG3 that hasn't played in over a year and a half. Yep. It's one practice. So? So I'm not worried about Josh McCown taking more snaps or whatever the case may be. You've got to get yourself reacclimated to playing football. He hasn't been doing that. Mm -hmm. Not only that, you know that Hugh Jackson is going to give him every opportunity. What I don't like about what you're saying is you're acting like the road needs to be paved and petaled with, with mm -hmm. roses mm -hmm. in order for RG3 to step up in there. You are, a, you are trying to be a starting quarterback in the NFL. You have to compete. You have to remind everybody of why you were RG3 instead of Robert Griffin mm -hmm. the third. That's what you need to do. And so when I look at it, I'm not phased by that. It's one practice. Not to mention the fact that you got to remember, they're trying to trade down. I also think that's a very good sign for RG3. Mm -hmm. Because what you have is a situation where clearly the Browns wanted golf. And even though we've been hearing that the, 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 you know, the L.A. Rams, having traded with the Titans, getting the number one overall pick, are either going to draft Carson Wentz out of the North Dakota State or just get Jared Goff. All by, uh, you've also heard folks from the NFL Network and beyond, folks here as well, talking about it'll probably be golf, even though there's still some people out there who thinks it'll be Wentz. But if you are the Cleveland Browns, you have targeted golf all along. So if you're looking to trade down, which the reports say they are, with Sashi Brown and the crew, mm -hmm. then that's because you believe and you've been convinced that the L.A. Rams are going to take golf. So what you're trying to do is look at the Eagles and other folks 
to trade down to get multiple picks. They were ranked 30th offensively last year. They were ranked 29th defensively. They have needs everywhere. And if you could get multiple picks while still getting a quality player, as far as I'm concerned, Skip, this is consistent with what you said you wanted because you talked about if you draft a guy that high, you're going to be looking to play. There's going to be cat calls for him the second RG3 struggles. Well, if they trade the pick, that goes out the window. And if you are RG3 and you can't outperform Josh McCown or Austin Davis or mm -hmm. anybody else or, you know, or, 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 Cook mm -hmm. or whomever, then you don't deserve the starting job. So I think that if they trade the pick, this is as ideal for RG3 as it gets, and I have absolutely no problem with it whatsoever, and I don't think you should either. Okay, but are, are you saying... Kind of sure, I meant. I'm sorry. Shaw, yes. that's fine. You, are you saying that you're okay if Josh McCown starts next year? No, I'm saying to you that I'm okay with him getting reps for now while RG3 gets reacclimated to playing NFL football, and in the event that... Josh McCown outperforms him in training camp and preseason, then you don't deserve, you don't deserve the starting job. You shouldn't get it. Okay. Uh, you know what? Josh McCown will outperform him right now. Well, then you got, for, for well, your point, he's been out of football okay, but, basically but, for a year well, and a half. Then, he played then, in the preseason. Then tell me year. what you're after then. Tell I, me what I, you're I want after. I somebody to say, here's the job, and we're going to rehabilitate your whole psyche and your confidence. We're going to rebuild you as a quarterback. But, but you need the reps now. You can't get better but, watching. But you know, how, you, can you, how can you rebuild somebody if you shatter, a, if you further shatter a confidence that they've lost by throwing them into a lion's den, they can't, they're not prepped to handle yet. I'm not saying that it's something that you don't look to do later on, but he just got there. And I'm saying to you, come training camp and preseason, yeah. to me, I'm not going to be concerned at all for RG3 until that third preseason game. That's when I'm going to oh, be looking matters. at Hugh Jackson and the Cleveland Browns, and I'm going to be saying, okay, where are we with RG3? Mm -hmm. Up until that moment, I'm not concerned about any of this. Okay, here's the problem. Josh McCown, is a, he's a journeyman quarterback, but he's a really good journal, journeyman. Yep. He, he's a top-line journeyman. Remember what he did for Chicago when he stepped in for Jay Cutler at the end of 2013? He went 13 touchdown passes to one interception. But, 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 Even last year with Cleveland, he, he was pretty good last again, year. But again, here's the question, Skip. Okay. If Josh McCown is better than RG3, why would you want RG3 to have okay. the job? Obviously, RG3's upside. What RG3 did as a rookie, Josh McCown is not capable of doing. But RG3 has taken such an emotional, psychological beating and a physical beating in Washington under Jay Gruden, even back to the Shanahan days, that he needs time to not have somebody to compete with because Josh McCown will, will be a little better. He'll be a little farther along. He's played a lot more football than Robert has. So why would you start to, to subject him to that kind of competition with a Connor Cook maybe? You, you see, hey. if you went forward with Robert and you said, you're our guy from day one, mm -hmm. trust me, I have he, to, he will, you, the sky is more of the limit. I have to apologize yeah. to the American public for what I'm about to say. It's my fault. I brought this up. It's on me. I know I'm going to regret it. But Skip Bayless. Is this a Tebow question? Yes. Oh. Because oh. Skip Bayless, Skip Bayless. This is, I heard this before. You know, it doesn't matter what they do in practice. It, it doesn't matter how they look. You got to stick with them no matter what. You got to show the faith and you, they will reward you. This is what you have said. And I'm saying to you, Skip, this sounds eerily similar mm -hmm. to the kind of things you said. It does not. It does not? Go can ahead. I, can I say yes. one thing? This is what I think is happening. You think it's going to help his psyche, RG3, by don't throw him into the lion's den with the first team yet. Let him develop whatever he hasn't played. And you're saying it messes with his psyche because you're already putting him in the backup role, right? You're already yeah. putting him well, behind Josh McCown. Plus, you're not getting reps. No, he yeah. needs reps I'm now. saying to you, as you can tell me, but listen, don't talk to me about reps in practice. I'm sure they're I getting will. reps. I'm sure they're going to get reps. But my point you're the number my, two. My point is this. The RG3 took the job knowing he was going to have to compete for the job. He didn't take the job thinking that it was going to be handed to him on a silver platter and he wouldn't have to compete. He's a professional. Professionals know they got to compete. You don't want to walk up in there and even though Josh McCown is looking better than you mm -hmm. and playing better than you and performing better than you, you get given the job because if anything will demoralize a franchise, that is it. What have coaches religiously okay. said to us throughout the years? If you don't put 
players in the best position to win, you have done a disservice to them. If McCown outplays RG3, you're doing a disservice to the rest of the team by not putting them in there. Uh, okay, I can't let the Tebow show. Please, go, I, I go knew go it was coming. I know okay, I brought okay, it up. It's on okay. me. It's Here, on me. Here's what happened with Tim Tebow. As a rookie, he was a 25th pick in the first round, late first round pick. As a rookie in preseason in those games, he wasn't good. He was sensational in those games. He got to play in the last, th uh, go, go check the tape. We've got tapes of this. I need okay? to see them. And then, then do this for me. I do need go, to go see them. Go look at the last three games of Tim Tebow's rookie year when the team was so bad they said, here, you start. I watch that. Go, go look at it. I watch that. Go I look at the numbers. Go look at what he did against the Houston Texans in Denver. It, it was the second start of his, his career. That's the end of his rookie year. Okay. Then, then go look at what happened in the preseason the next year. Preseason. Okay. Okay. But you're saying he, when, when it was game time, time to play in a real game, even though it's, it doesn't count. He was really good. He, could, he was he not a run, very good he practice could run player. The football. He could run the football no, he could very, very, football very, very well. Very, Don't very ever well. say to me. Okay. Don't ever say go, to me that Tim Tebow could throw. Don't, Don't ever do that. Like Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't lie to people like that. Don't ever sit there and say that he could throw the football because we all know better than that. Okay. All I know is that he threw it well enough then to take over when the team was one and four the next year. What are we hearing? Is that a song? No, no, let me tell you something right now. Oh, they're playing the song. Let me tell you something right now. I'm looking at this can right now to my producers. Ladies and gentlemen, to the producers of First Take, I will walk off this set right now if y'all don't turn off that damn music. I don't want to hear anything about this. I will walk off right now. I will walk back. I will walk off this set right now. Y'all start playing that Tebow stuff. Don't get me started with the diet. Don't y'all start with it. Now, I said I'll listen to Skip. I'll be dead if I'm going to listen to that Tebow music. I'm not going to take it. Don't tell me he could throw. Don't do that. They're playing the music. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. leaving? I'm gonna leave right now until they turn up this music. I'm gonna leave it. Take. Oh. I can't take it. I can't take. I can't take. I can't take. Turn it up. I can't take. I turn it up. Know, I can't take. Turn it up. He's oh my. Listen. 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 I can't take it. I can't take. It. Conor McGregor next. Stay here on first take. Skip raps too. No one trick pony at this desk. All he does is win. All, all, all he all he does is unleash. Tell him to both. Let him go. It's time. Turn him loose. Let him play. Let him play. Okay. On Sunday. Unleash. Tell him to both. Let him go.